Okay, house is officially cleaned. Went through uh, quite a bit of bottles of uh, 30 second cleaner, outdoor cleaner for uh, mildew and moss, which I had a lot of. The whole house was covered with black mildew everywhere. So I got up on a ladder, sprayed the crap out of that last uh, couple days, weekend, scrubbed the heck out of it. Uh, still drying, but I got all four sides of the lower half and then just finished the upper pagoda, the, uh, the sides on that. So I did this the other day and did this upper half here about an hour or so ago. And let's see what else. The place looks great. It's an old house, but God, a clean house looks so much better. None of the black mildew. Got that upper half clean, still a little wet. Uh, that was a little scary getting out there. Uh, Joey finished painting, of course. I uh, got all this. The other day I got all this cleaned. Boy, that was something. It was dirty, nasty. And all this black stuff that was under here, Elgano. Really nice paint. It got kind of a nice sheen to it. Uh, all of that black mildew is gone. So, just now finished up the upper half of the coat of this here. Just brought the hose down. It's still wet. There's a big ladder antenna wire, ham radio antenna, still dripping. Gutters are full of pine needles, leaf guard. They don't work with a darn for pine needles. Got to get up and hose those out. But I'm happy about that. Let's see what else I did here. Joey's painting the tractor barn or tractor garage uh, to match this. He caulked all, uh, all the holes and all everything. He's going through and caulking all the nail holes. He's going to put the second coat of paint on both sheds and the, the garage, the tractor garage. And let's see, I did this yesterday. This came out really nice here. I mean, I'm not real fond of the color, but uh, at least it's clean. And the pagoda, let's see, there's the hand radio tower. Oh yeah, I got more green fuzz here in this corner. I'm not sure why it's not coming up in other places, but it'll get there. Uh, yeah, so I just finished that, like I said. And new location for the tower is actually going to be, uh, it has to be four foot by four foot by four foot deep. And we had this running debate whether it's going to go on the back side or on this side. Turns out uh, Mr. Science John came over a little bit ago and we came up with an idea that'll meet halfway. It'll be uh, kitty corner here. So two feet over here, two feet there, and two feet there. And what that'll do is it'll allow me to use that tree as a winch pole. So there'll be a, uh, a snatch block pulley way up in there, 20 feet, 10 to 20 feet, and a rope that's gonna go down to the tower, and it'll just kiss the side of this uh, shed here. And that's gonna go up to the 25 foot mark on the tower itself. And then the tower will lean down over here. And, uh, the idea behind that is that I could dig the hole, because it's going to be a major ordeal, dig a four foot deep hole by four foot. I want it on this side of the shed for a number of reasons, because I got that grade right, and I don't want to be bringing that tractor back and forth over there, because that's what I'd have to do as I dig there. And it's going to make a major disruption to both the grade, the grass, and everything else if it starts raining this area uh, tends to swamp up or uh, pull up and turn into a swamp and that's what i don't want that's what this whole entire project has been about is to try to do uh, irrigation erosion control i'm not sure if i have wetlands here or what the problem is uh, but i've got to solve it i've been here over a year now and a little over a year and i haven't solved this so i'm thinking this last regrade is going to solve this with the grass and everything. Needless to say, I don't want the tractor uh, back and forth in here. I'm willing to put it in here because this uh, this was a gravel road that I put in last year. I need to refresh it, but it's good and firm. And this is a higher spot up here, work in progress. And uh, when we're done, this is going to be a gravel patch, four foot gravel, real nice on the base of that tower. So I'm more comfortable with bringing a tractor in here and tearing up this little area. It's only 16 feet versus all of that nice area behind it. So again, the tower is going to tilt over, boom, over there. And it'll be winch pulled up 
on this big uh, tree over here. That one, I have to cut some branches. Joey's uh, racing the clock here to get this painted. Uh, it's looking really good. It's been yellow uh, hardy, hardy board, hardy plank? Yeah, yellow primer. And uh, I was gonna get this painted last year, ran out of time. It's gonna have nice dark trim, dark brown trim, like the rest of the house has. And uh, like I said, I'm not exactly fond of the red, but it's here. I uh, can't afford to paint it quite yet. The paint's actually in really good shape uh, outside of the color. So if you can't beat them, join them. I mean, these sheds here, tough sheds came from Home Depot. I picked that red and brown. So that's what we're gonna do there. Uh, hopefully the Clorox coming down this downspout or 90, 30 second cleaner. I've been using this straight. Hopefully that's not gonna kill the grass in here. Uh, well, we'll see. Got a little grass coming up here. Oh man, look at that red. It's bright because it's not dry yet, but that'll turn darker red. Uh, again, clean house. Needs new windows and screens, but we'll get there. The heat pump's there. I don't have a backyard yet. Don't have a deck. Uh, but that's going to happen soon, hopefully. Uh, this window's coming out. And the new sliding door is going to go there. And then the deck's going to go from here all the way over to there. So when the actual project is done, it should be pretty nice, I'm hoping. We have a uh, fire pit over there. We have a number of fire pits. Uh, this is the patio here. i got to move the tractor here. Uh, here's a sliding door that's going to go in there. Heavy as all get out. Uh, but we'll get that in. Uh, this is the bigger shed. Uh, Joey's got it all caulked up, sealed up, ready to paint. It'll get a new coat of uh, brick dust. Red is what they call it. And I think it's roof brown or something. It's a brown trim. Let's see, I got lights here. Uh, lights here. This is kind of a disaster, but Valerie came over on my birthday and we just rocked and rolled and put up these uh, big heavy duty shelves. Threw them all, all my junk there, but at least I can walk in it now. Someday I'll get to reloading my shotgun shell so I can go back to shoot and skeet and trap. There's all my empty hulls I need to reload. My loading supplies, mods, and uh, that's it. But at least I can walk out here, so well, that's a good thing. Trash pile looks like I'm due for a uh, dump run. Uh, all my cats are dying on me. I had to put Tiki down. And these old cat stands are nasty, so I want to get new ones. Fire pit. Uh, this area needs to be graded and cleaned, yet this has not been touched since uh, I put the gas line in. The gas line comes from the street roughly over there. And uh, I started to clean this up with gravel. This will be a little access road, so to speak. And then when this is graded out in rocks, this will flow real nice here. It'll kind of make it look like a park, you know, but... There's only one of me and a whole stack of projects to do, but we'll get to it. That is the name of the game. So I'm just glad that the house is clean. I'm done with this 30 second smelly Clorox type cleaner in a mess. So anyway, see you guys later. Thank you for watching.